Hey guys, just thought I'd do a quick run through of the pan and tilt system for my FPV crawler. Um, this is it. Um, one thing I found, one of the most important things I reckon with a pan and tilt system is to have no movement. And the GoPro is pretty heavy so it's sort of harder to do it uh, without some good uh, bearing mounts. Um, so what I've got here is um, 360 degree GWS uh, SAR winch servo um, servo uh, which is a 360 degree which is obviously very handy for full range of movement um, and this is a servo block from Servo City um, which has a nice bearing in there so it has no movement and is really strong. Um, the only problem I found was these hubs come in either a Futaba spline or a high tech spline and the GWS servo is neither of those. It's its own unique spline um, but you can get it to fit if you heat this up gently and basically melt it onto the plastic spline of the GWS servo um, and yeah that seems to work pretty well um, then obviously there's some alloy mounts screwed in to mount to the FPV chassis I've got um, and a, an alloy plate to link it all together um, these bearings here um, are actually from a VCR head unit. Um, so I don't know if you've got some old VCRs lying around replaced with your DVD or Blu-ray player. Um, yeah, I would a heap around so I just took them apart and you, these are ground right down um, and a screw thread tapped in and clamped in, but the good thing about those, they have, they're very good quality bearings, no movement at all. It's probably a bit overkill, but that's okay. Um, and then this body here is um, just a fiberglass, um, fiberglass one I made for the GoPro. You could use, um, you don't have to use fiberglass obviously, you could just use, make one out of alloy or uh, an old plastic box or um, you do want to mount it solidly, you don't want any movement uh, in there obviously um, and this is the the lens protector off the exterior case I've just hot glued on to protect the lens um, <coughs> and this is a uh, high tech servo um, what is it, a high tech HS325HB um, which seems to be pretty good actually it's um, I think the main thing you got to look for in this servo is um, if you're using a gyro is you need something with fairly good speed um, and this one seems pretty good like that um, and then I've used an alloy um, servo horn you don't have to use an alloy one just they're cheap um, and they're mounted on these alloy servo mounts, um, which are so cheap, from I got these from Hobby King, only like a dollar or two or something, so they're worth worth getting. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I've got. Works pretty well. I've left. Um, I've actually got access to the back serial bus for the GoPro because um, you can use that for. Um, you can get video and audio out um, and charge rather than using the side ports if you want um, and also do other stuff like um, um, remote turning on and off um, but I haven't actually got it hooked up yet um, I'll show you my old mount which is not which is a bit clunky because um, I had this servo most servos are I don't know 90 degree range so I've put a bigger um, gear on it 
to uh, and smaller gear on the actual mechanism so I can actually get the range I wanted and it worked okay but it's a bit messy and um, I use another another bearing out of a, a VCR hub this one's not quite so ground away um, these are more bearings anyway I hope that um, gives you some hints any ideas leave leave a comment in the section below and hope that helps you out